Hey VC, Jeff here again. I wanted to, um, I realized I hadn't done one of my CD collection videos in a while, and I had a couple uh, videos I was going to do today, or at least two, and I thought I would do this one um, just because, you know, I want to go ahead and, and continue on with that little series. It's been since like early November. I'm like, wow, you know, <laughs> um, well, it's been a little over a month, so whether you like them or not, I don't know. I'm just going through them. We stopped at B for Blackthorn. And so we're picking up there, and I think I'm gonna I'm gonna rush through these. I'm gonna try to get right through the bees. Uh, I think I can do it all in one setting. Um, so Blackthorn was the last one we did. We had done Blackfoot. We did all those all of those uh, bees around there. So we're starting with the bleed. Now this is it's listed as Rex Carroll and the bleed, but I guess the band itself was just called the bleed. Kind of an alt rock. Uh, Rex Carroll is a uh, guitar shredder, you know, 80s guitar shredder, phenomenal guitar player. But in this case, he, and he also has some bluesy albums out. In this case, he uh, joins forces with uh, the guy from Love War, the singer, uh, guitarist, musician, you know, all around. And they put out more of an alt-rock album in the 90s. And, uh, you know, it, I've ignored this for years, and it was reissued as Rex Carroll and the Bleed, and even then I ignored it for a while, and then I finally went ahead and bought it, and uh, was really enjoyed it, really good stuff, really good stuff, all right, Blessed by a Broken Heart, I didn't know a whole lot about these guys, the new band, younger band, you know, this is probably pushing 10 years old now, but kind of, uh, they had some really fun uh, melodic metal uh fun videos and then when you listen to them they've got some other stuff that's a little more screamy so it's kind of like a modern band with uh good you know clean vocals and screamy vocals at times interesting stuff i haven't uh, checked out any of their other stuff all right then we're gonna go i'm gonna blow through these these are uh, blood good blood good is one of the premier christian metal bands since 1985 and this is going backwards so this is their most recent which is still even probably 10 years old and you probably these have been shown a lot of blood good recently because of the recent reissues on vinyl this included i uh, was on vinyl now this is the album of course where os fox from striper joined the band so great album this is actually the reissue of the album with a different cover so this recently came out too i had the original cover this is uh, just a, a live album that came out uh, to Germany with Love. I had the original cover, and then this one was a reissue and I picked up later. All Stand Together, the technically the final Blood Good album from back in the day. Probably their most different one. Uh, definitely less metallic. Great album, but totally different from all the previous albums. So some people don't appreciate it as much. And then these are reissues of... Uh, out of the Darkness, this is a Digipack reissue remaster that came out a handful of years ago. Waiting for that to be on vinyl released one day. Rocking a Hard Place, well, I mean, that was on vinyl back in the day, but it's like only available now as like an import and whatever. Um, anyway, Rocking a Hard Place, I have the original vinyl of this would be great, I guess, if they're going to hopefully remaster and reissue those like they did the first two. Same with the, uh, you know, Shaking the World. This is a double live CD, part one, part two. Came out as a double VHS tape. Also came out as a single DVD years later. I believe these are also released on vinyl overseas, but very hard to come by. Detonation. This is one of the remasters, reissues that came out. It's got some live tracks on there. I saw them on this tour, 1987, at Cornerstone. This is one of the earlier remaster reissues by the record label. They put changed up the artwork, the original artwork. Oops, case is broken. Original artwork was inside. Anyway, had a bonus disc of live stuff, and anyway, it was pretty pretty good for the time. And then they reissued it after that. And then we got the actual reissue of the first album that just recently came out on CD and vinyl. The other reissue of it back when the record label released it with the alternate cover and the in original inside and a bonus disc of live stuff which is really bootleggy metal missionaries i showed not too long ago because this recently came out on vinyl and cd this is the original 85 demo michael bloodgood released a solo album kind of rocky crazy type stuff at times 
And I know this is C, but I put it in the Blood Good section because Les Carlson, this is one of his albums from the 70s. He was big into uh, stage stuff and, you know, uh, you know, stage makes sense because he acts a lot in Blood Good. Anyway, so this album just recently came out, oh, what was it, maybe a year or two ago. Um, it's just a classic reissue of some of his older pre-Blood Good material. All right. Bo Bice. Uh, Bo Bice was one of the singers on American Idol, and we used to watch American Idol back in the day, and my wife ran across this one day, I think at Walmart, and she thought I might like it. It's kind of a southern rock, fiddle air, uh, country feel here, but for the most part, southern rock. It, it was a really good album. I've enjoyed it. It's been a while since I looked at that. I need to pull that out. We're going to blow through these because these are all Bon Jovi, and I remember uh, back in the day seeing these at walmart for like five dollars this was literally probably 10 or 15 probably 15 years ago and i ran over there late one night and uh and i just grabbed them all and it's just the main you know early releases there brian setzer orchestra this is of course the one that's got you know uh cats on a hot tin roof you know this is the one where he started really getting big and the whole dance craze came back i really enjoy his stuff i love big band music and this is a modern take on Big Band with a little rockabilly. I'd love to have more of his stuff. This just happens to be the only CD I have at this point. All right, moving on. Got the Brave. This is the newest album by the Brave. And it just struck me as I'm looking that I... I know I had at least their first album. I must have sold that at some point because I got it on, on vinyl now. And then, anyway, their newest album, and it is coming out on vinyl, but the vinyl got really held up as with all vinyl, and so they sent me the CD. Love it. Just melodic, straightforward, 80s feeling, metallic stuff. The Bride Christmas album, I showed this not too long ago. This just recently came out. We're moving into Bride territory here. This whole next batch is Bride. Southern Gospel, uh, it's the brothers from Bride and their father, I believe, uh, doing just old-timey uh, Southern Gospel stuff. Their latest, Here Is Your God, A Return to Form. Well, you know, the, all their albums are different, but, you know, everybody's looking for that uh, Snakes in the Playground sound, and this is, you know, just a really good, solid metal release. Snake Eyes is actually... Uh, the one that claimed to be the return to form with the you know, rattlesnake. Both albums, very good stuff. Incorruptible, handful of years ago. Sarbama. This one also came out uh, on vinyl short, not too many, terribly too many years ago. Skin for Skin. Uh, this is actually the reissue remaster with a couple bonus tracks. Uh, that was called Skin for Skin Plus 2, but maybe that's just the name that... Yeah, okay, that's what it says on the side. Anyway, yes, it, they, they, it was issued, and then it was reissued with a couple extra bonus tracks and remastered a couple years later. This is it. Also, again, they uh, remastered it, added some extra tracks, so this is the reissue of that. This full of bees, I believe... This is the only album, I think, that I've got that when I, I look at it, it doesn't look official. And I, I bought it from somebody online many, 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 many moons ago, but it doesn't look real. And I tried to trade it in at a place and they said it wasn't real. But anyway, so I don't know. I don't seem to, uh, it looks fine. It's high quality, but it, you know, it does kind of have that look like maybe somebody tried to bootleg it. I don't know. Never actually seen it for sale <laughs> anywhere where I could get an original, a, a physical copy. Oddities. Uh, yeah, out of these. I don't know. There's not a whole lot to say about these. If you're familiar with Bride, you're familiar with Bride. The Jesus Experiment. I had the original copy of this back when I bought it that had an interesting picture on the inside of Jesus in an electric chair. It's been banned, and I guess I sold it at some point. So when I rebought it, it doesn't have that. So it's not, not the fancy one anymore. Drop. This is, of course, the reissue. Scott Waters really redid the artwork. It's been remastered. It sounds absolutely marvelous. Scarecrow, Messiah, great album. Hopefully they're going to get around to, you know, maybe remastering this, retreaking this. Love to hear this on vinyl also because we're moving into the vinyl days where they just reissued Kinetic Faith. This is a remaster, beautifully done packaging, just like they always have been doing with all of these reissues. 
and this one was uh, also brought out to us on vinyl. This is the original. I may eventually sell. Uh, Snakes in the Playground. The remaster also came out on vinyl. The original. And then over the years, they released, uh, the band actually released some like CDs of, of demo recordings, which uh, I think uh, Troy, the guitar player, I used to communicate with him back in the days a lot. And he had sent me a bunch of cassette tapes back in the days. And a lot of the songs did end up, you know, later becoming on the albums. Maybe they got tweaked with different lyrics, different titles, but a lot of the songs didn't. So you end up with a lot of extra tracks. And uh, he used to send me those and they were really cool. Well, then the band put them out on CD and they did three of them. They called... Uh, lost reels one two and three and they did them over a couple year period and each one is you know a different era of the band well then those were later picked up remastered and reissued by retroactive as lost reels one two and three very nice package deal to have them they're all digi packs but it's really nice to have them all you know they look like a matching set and they sound amazing great stuff like i said there's a lot of stuff that's early renditions that were later tweaked and changed, but there's a lot, a lot of songs that didn't make it on the album. The gold issue, the gold disc reissue, uh, Silence is Madness, and this, of course, came out on vinyl a couple years ago. So as you can see, we're working our way. This is the original Silence is Madness. This one was an M8 reissue on CD where they had some bonus tracks. Gold disc reissue of Live to Die. This is uh, the remaster reissue. just came out a couple months ago, and... The vinyl of that is coming. This is the original Live to Die. I may still sell those originals because not much need for those. The Show No Mercy, of course, recent reissue, gold disc. Again, the vinyl reissue of that is coming. The original, re the original Show No Mercy on CD that came out years later after the album. And it's got some bonus tracks. Again, was a re an M8 reissue. Then you got the Matrix years. Uh, this is... Matrix was the name of the band before Bride became bride and they released like four cassettes well you got like two complete i think two of them here are two or three two of them wish they would have put them all in there but uh, anyway this is uh, most of the early recordings kind of remastered and then the last one which is not bride is broken silence uh i want to say this is this is i just love this album i had the original album that was released by the band it only had like i don't know six songs and then this was reissued uh retroactive where it's got like a whole album's worth of material, but they're, I think, I believe they're from Hawaii. Just phenomenal, solid, melodic metal of the days, 80s kind of stuff, great stuff, one of my favorites. Anyway, that's it, I'm, oh, no, oh, hold on. Bruce Dickinson, Bruce Dickinson. You can tell I picked those up in a used bin a couple years ago. I don't know why I don't have, I have had all of his stuff over the years, but at some point, sold them off. Anyway, that's it. Cut it short. I'm going to, have to trim this down because this is already longer than I want to be. Thanks for watching. I'll be back. Rock on. Rock hard.